We're going to go to David Belmont now. And I'm going to, uh, just to, to let everybody know, I'm going to jump around the chat because I know that we have a bunch of questions that came in a little bit later. So hang in there. We'll get to as many as we can. But David. Hey. You have to unmute. There you go. I'm unmuted. Great. Thank you, Kathy and Catherine. Hey, David. Um, in, in, in March of this year, legal scholar Kermit Roosevelt gave an interesting lecture on his historical look at the U.S. Constitution as a living document. During the Q&A, he was asked what the biggest current challenge to further development of the Constitution was. He said partisanship, because party loyalty now dominates over loyalty to your particular branch of government, thereby eroding the checks and balances and separation of powers critical to the continuation of constitutional law. Do you agree with Roosevelt's observation? And if so, how do you see it impacting on the possible transformation of the political process? Uh, David, what's the gentleman's name who gave the speech? Kermit Roosevelt. He's actually the great, great, great grandson of Teddy. OK, that's pretty cool. I name, I, I have a, my son just turned three, and he's Teddy. I named him after Theodore Roosevelt. So there you go. Um, all for Kermit Roosevelt. Uh, yes, I agree exactly with what he said. And I and what is, it was Kennedy, you know, who said in his inaugural, we don't do this because it's easy. We do this because it's hard. I know that we can pass final five voting in states across the country. I know it won't be easy, um, but, but it's eminently achievable. And here's how it will happen. Article one of this constitution that Roosevelt was talking about gives the power to change the rules of elections to every state individually. And so we don't, that's what's pretty fabulous about this. We don't have to get the national movement and get everybody across 50 states to agree or Congress to pass a law, or we don't need a constitutional amendment. We need state by state, the state legislature to pass a bill and the governor to sign it, or in half the states, we can use a ballot initiative where the people can use signatures to get final five voting on the ballot and then, and then the citizens can vote for it. And that is achievable on a state by state basis right now. I mean, it's happening. Alaska is going to vote on November 3rd on final four voting. So this is exactly what I propose, which with the exception of they will advance four candidates from their primary to the general election rather than five. Uh, but I also love final four voting. Can't wait. I'm a big supporter of what they're doing in Alaska. And I actually call that the other swing state. So while you're watching all the other results on November 3rd, be sure to watch Alaska to see what uh, is happening there, because I think that type of effort is what's going to swing us away from the current trajectory. Um, and so it's this individual state laboratories of democracy that is going to make us change. Because uh, Kermit Roosevelt is right, you're not going to change the Constitution right now because you need national agreement to change the constitution. But you, have a, you can power through in a state in a way you cannot make uh, the nation agree.